Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and these large square dowels from Hobby Lobby. I started by measuring and cutting the large dowels. One of them I had already cut for a different project. So I cut two 18 inch pieces and two nine inch pieces. I used my miter shears to cut them. And then after I had them cut, I just sanded off the ends. I glued together my frame. I took the nine inch piece and glued it to the top end of the 18 inch piece, just at a 90 degree angle with some wood glue, and then just use some masking tape to hold that together until it dried. And then I did the same thing on the other side, gluing down the 18 inch piece to that nine inch piece. Again, taping it with masking tape. And then I flip it over and do the same thing on the other end. And then once that was done, I just set that aside to dry. And then I took just a handful of these bamboo skewers ended up needing 12 of them. So I just used some black chalk paint by Folk Art and painted them. I didn't end up needing the whole skewer, so you don't have to paint the whole thing, but I ended up painting all of them and used my heating tool to dry them. After I had dried them, they were still a little hot from the heating tool, so I used that heat to bend these so they were a little bit curved. After I let the frame dry for about half an hour, I took the tape off and then used khaki acrylic paint mixed with some water and painted the entire frame with one coat. It almost gives it like a stained look. Next, I wanted some extra stability, so I just took these small little pitcher nails and hammered them into each little corner where the dowels are connected. Next, I took my Fisker shears and cut all of the skewers in half. Next, I took just one craft stick and I held another craft stick on top of it just to get a straight line. Cut that down with the Fisker shears and then use the end of the craft stick to just mark another line so I could get a complete square and then use that square as a guide to cut more pieces and I cut six little squares out of that one craft stick. Next I took my frame and the skewers, ended up taping my frame down so it didn't move on me and then tape down that center piece, just making sure that I had it even with the frame, tape that down with some masking tape so it stayed in place while I'm working with it. And then I just took the skewers and made sure that I had them going at the right angle or the right curve and they were matching and then hot glued them right to that craft stick. And then just tape those down so they didn't move while I'm worked on the other two. And did the same thing, making sure the curves were going away from the top ones. And then added some hot glue on top of those and that stick. And then added another little square craft stick right on top. So that whole center is glued all together. And then I had removed that. And I should have worked from the back so I didn't have to move it. And I'll be doing that later so you can see how I did that. So I just trimmed up the ends of the skewers so they weren't overhanging on the frame. And then hot glued that down into place on top of the frame. And 
then after I had that one glued down, I did the exact same thing on the other end, just working from the back like I did here. After I had the two ends on, I had just flipped it over and taped down my frame and then made a center marking and had put some tape down and put my little craft stick square on a tumbling block so it was lifted up to where I needed to work with it. So once I had that centered, I just really did the same thing. I just heated up my skewers again and gave them a little bit more curve. Again, just making sure my angles or my curves on the skewers were going in the right direction. Cut them down and hot glued them to the frame first. And then once I had them all hot glued to the frame, I glued them in the center on that little square. and then place down my last little square in the center, right on top of all that hot glue. And then once the glue was dry, I just removed all the pieces from those taped down things, set that aside for now, and then took these white little flowers from Dollar Tree, painted them with the same khaki color, and then on the center of them where it had that little pearl, I painted those with black chalk paint. And then I took the black chalk paint and painted the center of the little skewers, those little craft stick squares, painted them front and back and sides. And then I hot glued the flowers to each of the little squares on the front. And I almost wish I did not put the flowers, maybe even left them just as they were or put some little black half round beads, but I still think it's really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching.